what is something that you failed at? Oh, um, do you know, I fail all the time. Um, and probably the most um, difficult failures for me are parenting ones. You know, when I have this idea in my mind of, of the kind of parent I want to be and, and it doesn't always happen like that. You know, you don't always respond to the child in exactly the way you want to. And, and maybe that's amplified for me because of clinical training and, and learning about childhood development and, and childhood trauma and being invalidated and stuff like that. And so um, I perhaps have a tendency to really kick myself if, if I realize I've said something wrong. I don't always respond in the way that I would like to and it doesn't always happen in the perfect way. So, and that happens fairly regularly because that's life, I think, and that's parenting. And so I think what I have to do is allow myself to feel that emotion because the, the pain of not parenting in the way you want to is intense. And sometimes, you know, it physically hurts and, you know, you get the kind of pain in my chest of, oh no, that's not, you know, that's not how I want things to be. And, um, and so I have to allow myself to feel that and listen to it and listen to what it's telling me that this is really important to me. I want to get it as right as I can, but I'm not. Um, and then often I'll go back to the books as well and remind myself that imperfect parenting is okay. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and try to reconnect with my children if, if whatever, I don't know, um, if that's necessary at the time and, and then just come back to my values and trying to live by them and allow myself to be human. Um, which, you know, you learn from each, each experience then. If you, I think if you get yourself back on track and you come back to your values and what's important to you, then you learn from the mistakes and you learn that you can get over a hump in the road. It's mm -hmm. fine. Um, you haven't lost everything. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And to kind of add to what Jake was saying, um, I'm not sure if you know my story. I, uh, I'm a former college dropout. I had a 0.59 GPA and like I was at rock bottom when I first entered university and the Dean said I couldn't do college. My parents said move out and essentially I knew what I needed to do. But when you're so low, you don't feel like you want to do those things. So at the time when you failed or you set back, you don't understand what you're going through. But when you look at it in a perspective way, everything you went through was a lesson that you learned not for the betterment of yourself, but to hopefully share it and empower with others. So I think, I think recognizing we're all imperfectly perfect, being kind to yourself. I am not a parent, so I have no idea how that would feel. Um, but I think that setbacks and failures are incredible. And that's what my platform is based off of. And I strongly believe in. So that was kind of my little two cents on that. Absolutely. And that's so powerful that, that you, you don't, Perhaps, and perhaps you'll never know how many people have been inspired by that story. I think it's so powerful, isn't it, when you um, when you see someone on a screen or or something else, and you you realise that they're human and that it's that it's okay to to struggle or to have a bad time or to fail at something. That's so empowering because it it kind of stops you in your tracks of beating yourself up um, about getting this thing called life wrong in some way. Um, so keep doing it. I think it's so powerful.